Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Star Chase from London Studios. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your key masters, sign in, and then go into Granted Assets. Once you're in Granted Assets, find Star Chase, click Download. Once it has downloaded, you want to open it and then find your server location. For me, that is in my hard drive, and then it's FX Server, TX Data, CFX Default Resources. So once you're in here, you want to click New Folder, and then you want to name it Star Chase. Once you've created a folder named Star Chase, you want to copy all of this into Star Chase. You can now close the .zip file. So the key things to look at here are the FX Manifest at Lua, as if you have got ESX or Cubicore, you have to uncomment it, and you have to add it as a script within your files for ESX or Cubicore. Um, now we're going to go into the config.lua and within the config.lua this is where you will add the vehicles that you want and multiple other things. So the first thing we want to look at is vehicles. For the vehicles it has automatically got a base model which is police 4 and then it's got that correctly offset for the vehicle. With For this it's got the name that you want the vehicle to be, the bone name, which we don't recommend changing, the offset of where it is, and the rotation. For the offset, the X makes it go left and right, the Y makes it go forward and backwards, and Z makes it go up and down, and then obviously the rotation. Here's an example of an altered one. The controls are here. If you wish to change them, you can go into this reference here, but by default it is X to ready, and Y to deploy. The blip settings are here and this is what you'll see on your map when you have deployed it on a vehicle. For here this is the star chase command. You can change the name of each command to whatever you'd like but personally we think we should keep it the way they are. And then here we have the sound volume for how loud you want it to be. The max is 1%, 100% I mean sorry. And if you want to disable beeps it's totally up to you. You can also add ACE permissions, ESX, VRP, and QB Core permissions. Down here, this is linking to your Discord webhook login, which is in svutils.lua. If we want to go there, svutils, you will add up the very top the logging webhook. Once you've done that, you can change the display name, change the color, and change the title, and change the icon to whatever you'd like. And then here, you can change the translation to whatever language you require. And then you can enable this animation for installing the Star Chase or disable it. And then there is other props as well. We don't recommend changing these. So now once you've looked at that, we can close out of config.lua and we can go and, and start our 5M server. So I'm just going to go to the artifact and find FX server. And then once we've done that, we can go into localhost, sign in, oh, I have got an error, I currently do not have a server key, let's just sort that just now, stand by, uh, active servers, I need to just quickly change this, if we go into the localhost, I'm just going to quickly change the server key. Sorry about this. And if we quickly restart the server. There we go. Now that we've done that, the server should be online. And we want to go into the CFG editor. And then we want to scroll down. And then type ensure star chase. Once you've done that, save the file and then restart your server. We're now going to load into our server to look at the asset. Okay, so now that once you have loaded into the server, you want to spawn a vehicle. For me, I have not added any more vehicles in, so for me it will be Police 4. Once I have spawned in Police 4, 
you want to exit the vehicle and then in chat do slash star chase install and when it says star chase install as you can see you're not able to see it on this vehicle so we're going to alter a few of the settings but first we want to see whereabouts it actually is in the vehicle so if we go under here and we try and find the star chase so look as you can see it's there we need to bring it forward a bit so if we go back to the our file for star chase which is here we want to go into config .lua, and then we want to change it so we want to bring it forwards and backwards so it's y so it's offset 76 why don't we change it to 1 and then we want to restart star chase so if we want to copy the name there and go into game restart star chase it may crash your game but that is alright and uh, we need to do again star chase install as you can see it's now down there we'll bring it forward maybe by a wee bit more so if we go back to the VS code maybe 1.50 and then we also want to bring it up and down so for the Z let's put it to 0, 0.0 save that and then restart it as well now we want to reinstall star chase as you can see it's in their better position but it's unfortunately too far out the front of the vehicle so what we want to do is we want to put it back into the vehicle by going maybe 1.0 let's try that again oh unfortunately it's crashed my game so i'll just quickly load back into the server okay so once you have reloaded back into the server we want to respawn in the vehicle so for me that was police 4 and we want to do star chase install When star chases have been installed, once again it may be in the back and maybe too far under the vehicle again. Ooh, that's a bit fast. For me, it is once again too far inside of the vehicle. There it is. I want to bring it forward a bit, so I went back to the config.lu and maybe 0.25. I want to restart that and I'm going to face the other way and then restart star chase to make sure it doesn't crash my game again. There we go. That's working to some extent just now, but you get what I mean with where you configure it. Once you have configured it correctly, there's multiple commands you can use. One of them is slash star chase load. With slash star chase load, it loads the star chase and it has now one thing you can attach to a vehicle. Installed in your vehicle and you'd like to use it in a vehicle. Go up to the vehicle, for example, I've got to this one here. Click your X key, you'll see a laser. To put the star chase onto the back of the vehicle, you'll click your Y key. You'll hear a sound, and in, in front there will be a vehicle with a star chase tracker on it. As you can see there, that vehicle has now got a tracker on it and it is updating constantly on the map. And if you would like to remove the star chase tracker from the vehicle, you would need to go up to the vehicle that has the tracker on it. And then go into the chat box and do a slash to star chase remove. Every time the vehicle moves, it gets updated on your map down on the bottom right. And if you would like to add more star chase trackers onto other vehicles, you can just keep on loading your vehicle with star chase and adding them to them, and you'll be able to see them on the map. Thank you for watching this installation video for Star Chase from Indie Studios. We hope to see you again here soon.